Hey guys, Brony General here, back with another video, and today I'm here to review this metal box. Joking, of course. This is a K Pro 2 portable computer system. And what it is was, well, what came before a laptop. It's large, it's nice, and it works. And I use it every day. For homework, I take it to school occasionally. It's a very useful computer, even in its old age. So what you have back here is you have a serial printer port, serial I.O. port, parallel printer port. You have your keyboard connection, which is just a phone line. You have a cord that I don't know what it does because there's no documentation on it. And you have a basic mains cable. Then you have your handle back here, reset button, and the on and off button. Alright, so, once you get up front, you're probably thinking, I, th how, there's not even a screen. Well, just like a laptop, um, the screen comes down, or the, the uh, keyboard folds down. So, uh, sorry about the bad camera angle, but... Once you do that, you can un un unlatch the two sides, put the keyboard down, and then lift this up. And there will be a little stand here. It's quite heavy. So for uh, hardware, you've got a 9-inch green phosphor CRT screen, two 5 and a quarter inch floppy disk drives that can read single-sided disks, like this one right here. Um, this computer does not have a hard drive and it runs a Z80 processor. So uh, not bad for a 1984 portable computer considering that uh, even computer even desktop computers weren't very very fast at the time. The keyboard is phenomenal to say the least. I mean um, if you listen closely you might not be able to hear that on the video but this is a buckling spring keyboard. It's very nice to type on. Feels very good. It's nice. Uh, the only thing, real problem with it is the fact that it's sort of laid out weirdly. But, uh, you know, I've sort of learned to live with it. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, boot it. So, if I flip on the power switch, it will start booting from the drive A drive. You here you see the power button. And uh, there's the... Uh, computer's operating system. It runs K-Pro CPM version 2.2 G, has 63 kilobytes of memory, or uh, not memory, but random access memory, and uh, this is pretty much as uh, basic as it gets, I would guess you could say, for a computer. So uh, there's plenty of commands. Right now I have the word start disk in, so typing program. Uh, if I hit control G, I can make it make a little beep do that. Um, so uh, let's see how it runs programs. Let's see how it runs WordStar. So if I hit WS, hit enter, and uh, it'll start booting from the floppy disk. And then there you go, WordStar. And then as you can see, it tells you a uh, directory to all the different files and whatnot. Um, so let's try and open a document. So let's go, let's open, let's open my Steam work, which is a class I have. Steam, eh, return, you hear the floppy disk reading, it will then open up the document. And um, so it's pretty easy to, uh, to use. The keyboard's really simple. It has one light on it, which, as you can see, is on the uh, caps lock key, which is pretty nice. Um, this is pretty much the cheapest K Pro you can get. Um, the K, this is the K Pro 2X. I got it for two hundred dollars on eBay. One hundred forty-nine for the computer, and then another like sixty for shipping. Um, but I would say that it is a very nice system. And would I recommend getting one for yourself if you're into retro computers and you uh, then you, you want to try one out? Definitely. Um, as for documentation, 
I've never seen a computer come with this many manuals. From here, you know, down from here up to here is all manuals for this computer. You know, all the documentation you got user's guide, uh, data star, word star, you know, etc. So that's that's pretty cool. So um, with this system, I got the computer, two floppy disks, those manuals, and this convenient uh, floppy disk case, which, as you can see, is also a K-Pro one. So it's the original. So uh, that's that's pretty cool. Um, if you want to see a video where I show you the internals of this computer, where I pop the uh, cover off and show you, then uh, stay down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this review and. Uh, I'll just shut the computer down, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.